Hello everyone, welcome you to this video. In today's video, we are going to discuss about uh, Jacquard similarity, which is also known as Jacquard index. So basically it is a measurement which is used uh, to determine the similarity between two objects. Let's say it's a measurement used to determine or measure the similarity between two objects. Or let's say especially two text documents. Okay. So it basically will tell you how two text documents are close to each other or how much it is matching in terms of their context by finding how many common words exist over total words. So it basically will tell you how two text documents are close to each other. So it will find the common words exist in the document, in both the documents, right? And it finds the similarities. So basically it is calculated by, let's say if you have uh, two documents, let's say, document one and document two. So the jacquard similarity of both the documents, let's say document one, document two will be document one intersection document two divided by document one union document two. So basically it is intersection over union. What is this intersection over union? So basically it is going to get the intersection that is the common elements from both the documents divided by the unique elements, total unique elements from the documents. I'll explain you this with an example. So basically this jacquard similarity will range. So this jacquard similarity score ranges between 0 and 1. Okay. So when the score is around 0, or let's say exactly 0 or closer to 0, then basically the two documents doesn't have anything in common. Right? If there are no common elements, common elements or common words present in both the documents, then you're going to get it as zero. The jacquard similarity score will be zero. And if it is closer to one or if it's one, then they are identical. So if it's exactly one, then we can say that both the documents are identical. So based on this jacquard similarity score, we can say how much we uh, both the documents are common, okay? How close it is to each other, right? So basically this jacquard similarity will check the, uh, the similarity between two documents by taking the common elements over the uh, total unique elements, okay? So let's see this with an example. So let's take, Two sentence. So assume that we have 
one sentence. This is one sentence we have. And let's say the another statement or another document has Now, these are the two statements we have, and we wanted to check the similarity between these two statements. Okay, so according to this formula, where intersection over union. So, first let's find the common elements, right? So, it should be A intersection B divided by A union B, right? So according to this, we can see the common elements. So you can see this word, this word, this word, this word is present, this is present, right? These are the common elements we have. So let's just pick only the common elements. So mission, We have learning is of AI. These are the common words present in both the documents, right? So this will be A intersection B and all the unique uh, elements. So you will have machine learning is a subset of AI, then we have in the second statement, the unique words are aim, using, to derive, and application. Now these are the total unique words we have. So, Let's find out how many numbers, uh, how many number of words we have here. We have one, two, three, four, five. So it's going to be five divided by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we have 13, 13 words, right? Unique uh, words. So if you just compute this, this will be the Jokat similarity score for uh, these two documents. Okay, so let me find the score. I'll just uh, calculate this. It seems to be around 0.38. So this is the similarity score that we have found between these two documents using Jakarta similarity, right? So this is the Jakarta similarity score. So like this, you can identify the uh, similarity between two text documents using this Jakarta similarity. So intersection of two documents divided by the union of those documents, those two documents will give you the uh, Jakarta similarity score. Right? In simple words, you can just tell that the number of common words divided by total number of unique words. Right, so that's will that will give you the jakat similarity score between two documents. So basically, this is used to find the similarity between two text documents. Okay, thank you.